In health news tonight, a rare genetic disorder at birth is the focus of an ongoing study at UConn Health Center. Researchers are now looking into a potential therapy for what they call Prodervilli. It's a syndrome. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is live tonight in our New Haven newsroom with more on how stem cells are playing a crucial role here. Jocelyn? That's right, Ann. They're growing stem cells from blood and skin samples, trying to come up with breakthrough therapies. So far, the results appear promising. This is the Stem Cell Institute at Yukon Health Center, where Dr. Mark Lalonde is leading a team of researchers trying to unlock the key, improving the quality of life for children born with Prader-Willi syndrome. In most cases, uh, the individuals uh, are missing a little part of chromosome 15. That genetic brain defect leads to a number of health issues for children like Mackenzie Jurassi, most notably constant eating because she is not able to feel full. There's no doubt that we know one day she's going to wake up and never feel full. We, we know that day will come, you know, in the short term future. Mackenzie born early at 32 weeks. Um, she's still struggling with her low muscle tones. Was diagnosed four weeks later with prader -Villi. We have started growth hormone treatments to increase her muscle tone. Um, there are some studies that show that it helps improve her cognitive delays and developmental delays. Parents like Christine Jurassi are finding comfort in the ongoing research by Dr. Lalonde and his team. We could potentially turn the genes that are not on uh, in prader -Willi turn them on again. They've discovered a way to interfere with the affected genes by studying brain tissues grown from stem cells. We're getting about 10 to 30 percent of the turn on we needed and we think we can do better than that. He is optimistic the promising results will lead to much needed therapy. But if we could improve the symptoms, if we could control some of these behavioral problems because we have a therapeutic approach, I think that would be a huge advance. Dr. Lalonde is looking for additional samples from prader -Willi patients. For more information, call this number 860-679-8349. Now, the annual walk and roll for PWS is this Saturday at Middletown High School. Registration is at 9 a.m. All the money raised goes to research. For more information, go to our website, WTNH.com. Darren?